Last year we spent a lot of money trying to get it under control and trying to control ragweed, trying to find the right chemical that would work. And you know, that's a painful lesson to learn. You know, Roundup was supposed to be the cure all, which it was till the boat we're sitting in now. We warned the companies that there is going to be a problem down the road if we become a one chemistry based agriculture. Obviously the nature finds the way to win. If you look down in here you can see corn plants that are completely stunted and all this ragweed growing around it so therefore the ragweed is pretty much choking this poor corn here. And if you don't do anything for a few years, this whole field is going to be a monocultural stand of giant ragweed. Can you help unload corn? My daughter, she's got, uh, she's got asthma. So when that stuff's pollinating and when the pollen's really thick in there, it makes it hard for her to breathe outside. And when you live on a farm, you know, the kids play outside all the time. For years, Dow research technicians have experimented with organic herbicides to control weeds. If we now switch and continue using 2,4-D corn year after year, I guarantee you that in five years we're going to start seeing resistance. Pretty soon, I think they're going to run out of things. And then we're going to really have a problem. I'm trying to get my neighbors and everybody to try to do different things besides using chemicals and stuff. And some of them are listening and some of them are not. Yeah, there's a good chance guys go back to cultivating or even, God forbid it, walking beans. <laughs> Which I had to do as I was a kid and that sucked and I don't want to do that again. <laughs> They're going back hoeing, walking the field. It's like going back in time, 50 years. So that's the key down the road. If we want to maintain a profitable, sustainable weed control and crop production system, we need to diversify our tools for weed control, period. It's not a rocket science.